Uh, hey guys, hey everybody, go to the discotheque, it's discotheque day again. We got another panel to react to. Right, here comes another anime panel of the year. And it's for the holidays. Or not really for the holidays, as from what I see the, the screenshots of panels for. But it's gonna go for the 80s. Yeah, I'm looking on Twitter right now. Yeah, yeah, this is a little pre-show, a little pre-show of what, of what I would consider uh, potential contenders. Yeah, yeah, and I'm looking at Twitter right now. Justin Zavanka just tweeted out, but yeah, for a little while we will talk about some really cool new discs. Also, some some truly groundbreaking. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I think it's the Project Echo remaster they were well, yeah, the Dome's Day Jupiter thing they were doing. Yeah, and I'm expecting an update on that. And when I predict what happened is uh hold on, let me Yeah, I made a mock up in the street panel for myself. So, yeah. and I posted on Twitter, like, it was suck that I got to got licensed by Discotech. Yeah, especially since they got a slew of Sunrise licenses recently. So, yeah, but I look at I got to as a. I put, I put in a, in all the actual tiles in a 12 Days of Christmas thing. So, tonight I got some day one. The first thing that come, comes to mind, that will start the panel. So, what? We can't start a panel without freaking everybody out. Yeah, so, yeah, I put a 3.0. I'm looking at my 3.0 list right now. Day two, part one. Part one keyword is cat's eye. Yeah, I, I would put Cat's Eye, Lights Rescue from Nozomi Entertainment. It's about time it gets a Blu-ray. I believe it's already released on Blu-ray in Japan, like, long ago. Like, I don't know why Nozomi falls suit already, but, wait. It's CMS. Okay, second thing, Day 2 Part 2 is Angel Hearts. Don't expect a Blu-ray for that anytime soon. Yeah, but let it stream somewhere. Yeah, because, like, yeah, I believe Angel Heart, like, is a spin-off that spins off of City Hunter 91, the last City Hunter series. And Anaplex just recently, Anaplex Japan just recently announced a, announced a Blu-ray for City Hunter 3 and 91 together. And I believe it's coming out at the beginning of 2021, so... There's gonna be up next it's gonna be an update on City Hunter Blu-rays set season two set one. Mm. It could come soon sooner than you know. There's a SD Blu-ray showcase day three. I would put Maple Town. Yeah, the dub SD Blu-ray. They're gonna talk talk about that dub restoration. Like I've already heard Maple Town. I figured out Mabel Town could be the one that they could announce. Yeah, because they already teased this is the Bond Brands license rescue. When the Bond Brands had it, yeah, it was one of the like four anime that aired on Nick Jr. And this is the only one that came from Toei. The other ones are from Nippon Animation. Day four, I put Neo Tokyo. Maybe that could. Maybe that's rather unrealistic. I don't see a Blu-ray anywhere. <laughs> so that could be another Dome's Day Duplicator project. Maybe it's released on Laserdisc already. That could be another one for Disco Tech to do. Then it's gonna be a loop on the third showcase. Here's the predictable <laughs> license announcement. Loop on the third. Uh, Miss by a dollar. The last of the Funimation dub TV specials. And it could lead to the Funimation Dubs movies. 
they could come on later this later in 2021. Yeah, but I expect this my daughter to come out May. I mean, no, March, March, March 2021. Yeah, I could put that as day five part one. Day five part two could be our Detective Conan announcement. Yeah, the Detective Conan announcement for that panel, to be honest. That would be like the Lupin the Third versus Detective Conan, both the special and the TV dubbed for a Blu-ray release. Like, it was a matter of time that got dubbed. Like, since TMS Entertainment USA is dubbing both properties, why not do this as well? Why not get that over with? I don't expect Lupin the Third Mystery and Mama Blu-ray. I don't. I, it could be a 10% predictability. Maybe Loop on the Third Part 5. Maybe uh, Loop on the Third Prison of the Past. Uh, maybe Loop on the Third Episode Zero English dub. Uh, Alright, let's move on. We're losing time here. Day 6, Future GPX Cyber Formula. It's a license rescue from Bondi Entertainment. Another Sunrise license. Like it, it's about size, it's a good treatment or so. Like Bondi Entertainment released it on DVD and they are releasing on a collector's edition. Like a collector's edition DVD. They couldn't do volume because of like license restrictions. Just a premium edition, collector's edition DVD set. Just, of just the series. They didn't do the OVAs. <laughs> oh, sorry. What's the action, action classic? Why not? Like, like you guys done for, done for Bond Entertainment back in the day? That was that, that terrible mismanaged to you. Alright. Day 7 I picked Bastard. This is the next NBC. Like, sir, like, Along with Neo Tokyo, like, amongst the next NBC Universal Entertainment Japan license is Disco Tech Navda. Like, I think they are, you know, the uh, Battle Athletes and The Legend of Black Heaven. And both were former Genion licenses. Bastard was also, also, Bastard was also a former Genion license, so. I expect it to be a SD Blu-ray in the same vein as Geno Cyber. Day A could be another Toei anime. Goldfish warning, I suppose. Another SD Blu-ray. I, I don't mind that. Keep, keep some of the shoujo fans happy. Like, they're talking about Disco, Te Disco Tech Online. Even though I think Crunchyroll's deal with Disco Tech is now off thanks to Crunchyroll being purchased by Funimation. Uh, I don't know if Funimation could allow Crunchyroll to finish off their uh, the deal Crunchyroll has with Discotech and Sentai. Like, uh, let me see some. Uh, all right, let's yeah, we're gonna come talk about Discotech on my what's on Crunchyroll, what's on Amazon Prime Video, what's on Retro Crush, and then we're gonna look at back of the releases. That happened after that last panel from December 29, 2020, January 26, 2021, and February 23, 
Firmala. Hm. Let me get through the rest of this real quick. Real quick, yeah, look at it. Yeah, I already talked about at least on December 29th, January 26th, February 23rd. Predictable day night will be Kisses TV series. Yeah, because like Jen, one of the stuff for January 26th was Kisses the OAD series. And yeah, got a little update on Scry, and then uh, Earth of Yatra movie. Mainly movie one only you, Ninja Robots. We got English stuff spotlight. Uh, got a trailer for Memories. Yeah, we took it the cast listen for that. My my prediction, like five percent prediction for for what dub they're gonna do it could be Full Zane Memorials of a Huntress, mm -hmm. License Rescue from NS America. It's another TMS Entertainment license. Yeah, there is also the possibility of Little Friends Season 2. The only downer from that Crunchyroll deal they done. Hmm. Yes, this is a snack. Yeah, there is also the 1% chance of... Uh, Crunchyroll Originals yeah, disc community yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, I thought it would be like Crunchyroll is a master licensor, US distribution is done by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Uh, but, now we don't want that are a part of the Crunchyroll Originals during like 2020 and stuff. Not 2021, they could. Crunchyroll Originals by then could be done by Funimation, and only by Funimation. And by for the ones in 2020, we could see Warner Brothers Home Entertainment be distributor for the U.S. DVD disc done by Viz, Blu-ray done by Discotech, the limited edition produced by Sentai, UK distribution by Anime Limited, Australian distribution by Mad Men. Mm -hmm. Come on, that crossbow. <laughs> hey, sorry, I'm being a little disgusting here. <laughs> like, I just can't help myself. All right, day 11. I have to say now and then here and there, day 12, a big surprise like Villain Saga that could close out the announcements. Maybe there's one last surprise. Day 13. Mm. It's about time. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Watch this tw twitch chat go freaking crazy. Time for me to go on the Discotech Media Wikipedia page. And, and while this is going on. I'll let someone else have the anime news network stuff. Is there any chance I wouldn't really care about some kind of announcement? I could get myself something to drink. Alright. Alright. Prepare yourself. Twitch. Yeah, Voice of America saying happy birthday to the head of the half Phantom Hive how and so much more Black Butler Seal Phantom Hive. Break a seal fan to now pick up the Black Butler complete Blu-ray set on sale during the Rice of Anime Holiday Sale. Only time Anna Books of America Blu-rays are available for sale. Okay. 
start with this. Hmm. Let's see here. Let me screen start. I will say it is. Sorry, a little silly song. There we go. Alright, we got music. Yeah, someone told me for another 4K. I don't think there could be another 4K because, like, I've heard Mama not looking the best on Japanese Blu-ray because TMS on their own, like, they, I've heard they screwed up. Here comes the sizzle reel. First thing, Orion. I had one of my predictions. Oh boy, here we go. I think it's gonna get into stuff too, for real. And Kenichi, let's go! A license rescue for fun mission right there. That that's the real thing. Let's go. Blu-ray. Kodoncha! I think that's Kodansha. This looks like it's doing real good. Let's rescue for fun mission recently. For real. Next up. Ninja Robot Tobikage, we could get a little thing for the uh, English dub, English dub, Ninja Robot. They're calling Ninja Robot Tobikage. Memory, we could get a little bit of that. For real. Right now, you gotta be kidding me! Right now, wait, that's not that much like this. No way it isn't. No way it isn't. Black Rock Shooter. <laughs> oh boy. No way, man. All right. And the first movie this is doing for the recent pack of. Or the actual movies only you. All right. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, I'm so. <laughs> okay, where's a ride? Where's a ride? <laughs> okay, now we're looking at Kodocha. Freaking yes. Man. Right away. That's the Blu-ray. We're not gonna see all the formations up there. Sunrise. Kenichi, the mighty disciple, TMS. Like, right, let's face it. All right, welcome to the latest and greatest Disco Tech virtual trailer panel. Series one. Mike Tool and Fun Animation Dub version. As you can see, uh, we've got some things to announce. Would my co-host like to elaborate? Total hundred. Sure. Okay, part one. Also known as Kodomo no Macha Child's Toy. It was holy crap! I was. 16 when I fan subbed this on VHS back in the day, <laughs> and now I get to work on it for real. Um, That's amazing. So the whole show is coming to SD Blu-ray. Um, the first half, which for was uh, the Black that Rock was uh, dubbed Shooter. by Funimation, um, is getting a release. It has all of the original music, the original opening theme, 7 o'clock news, is back. Uh, nothing had to be muted from the Japanese audio. <laughs> uh, <that is laughs> seven o'clock news. Audio as is, of course. Um, Still, and, uh, yeah, seven o'clock uh, news. Central Park. I mean, oh, Central again. Time. After so many years, it's uh, very near and dear to my heart. That is excellent news. And finally, we're going to get the second half of the series where these 
star-crossed lovers graduate from, uh, you know, middle school to junior high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, from elementary to junior high, yes. The, yeah. uh, the, the middle school saga, as it is known as, uh, will be subtitled only, um, and it will be dropping in 2022. Uh, that all has to get translated still, and as you can imagine, this is an exhausting show to translate. <laughs> it's uh, an exhausting show to watch. Yeah. But uh, it's it's good stuff, and uh, we can't wait to show it to you guys. All yeah, right. Just just so people know, like that's just very temporary art. We're probably going to do like a new, more authentic logo and stuff like that to the Japanese. So watch out for that. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, there's go. a lot of art here that you see the not final uh, superimposed there. That is uh, that's serious business. Uh, these are scratch. Uh, package designs to get you hype for the coming releases so your release announcement checklist which we uh which we like to do kodocha will be coming to sd blu-ray starting in 2021 and uh concluding in 2022 i love and that you have the little hammer there yeah <laughs> every everything we're going to a lot more to go we're going to announce more than 10 new licenses uh we tease several of them don't worry we'll be talking about them has its own little icon uh, I, I put a lot of thought into this, okay? And the aesthetic I was going for is Trapper Keeper, circa 1990-90. Now, children, do you know what a Trapper Keeper is? Trapper Keeper? Uh, I'm sure the channel does not. Anyway, <laughs> look at the time. It's this Disco Tech Day. Day. And I just like, uh, on the behalf of myself and the co-hosts, uh, Justin and Brady, I want to mention the, I want to uh, welcome the almost 900 of you to the, uh, to the channel. Can you imagine... Wow. Can you imagine going to a, a, a convention on a Monday night and going into a panel and there are 900 people there? Mm. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. So this is, uh, now that's what I call discotheque because yeah. I, I was kind of going for, you know, <laughs> not a late 80s, discotheque. but more of an early 90s thing when the, the, the neon was kind of giving way to softer colors and uh, weird magazine layouts looking things. Yeah, I know this is kind of ostentatious. Is, is that, is this, is this a little too much? I mean, I mean, we do really <laughs> no, a city hunter. Uh, I want to pick up this bargain CD at Walmart for three dollars. <laughs> That's right. I'll bet it's public domain. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll tone it down down just a little bit, and uh, <laughs> I want to uh, take take the time before we dive into things to introduce ourselves. Why don't we start with Brady? Uh, I'm Brady Hartle. I'm a producer, a designer. I do packaging. I, I uh, help produce some of the English dubs, that kind of thing. Um, I'm also, as it says, the world's number one perfect strangers otaku. Uh, my love of the kawaii adventures of uh, Larry and Balki is only rivaled by my favorite isekai, Family Matters. You know, the thrilling story of a young genius who transforms okay. himself and, the and, his, and his neighbors to Disney World through a porta potty. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Brady Hartle. How about you, Justin? I'm Justin Savinkus. Uh, I'm also I also produce many many discs at Disco Tech, and I also author all of the discs. I'm the one actually putting it all together. Um, and uh, somehow through the entirety of the year, I've managed to keep working out the entire time. Uh, I don't know how I even did that, but I have. Um, anyway, you can find me on Twitter. I am at World of Crap. That's amazing that you've managed to keep busy. I, uh, I, I think I, I put on like the pandemic 15 or 20. I don't even want to weigh myself. Oh, I, I did. And then I went, oh, crap. And you went, oh, crap. <laughs> We're losing the plot. <laughs> I live in Los Angeles. This is not acceptable. And uh, yeah. and I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I wanted to experiment with a little. Uh, we're we're joining you over uh, over a Discord chat, so I can't share everyone's camera. I don't have enough screen real estate for that. But uh, I can say hi to you guys out there. Hey. And, uh, and uh, happy holidays, and I hope everything is going well. I'm Mike Tool, and uh, I, I I I bought a place that I live in now, like some kind of pervert. And uh, that's uh, that's what's going on with no. me. Uh, glad to see so many of you. Yo, God, over 900 now. This is getting intimidating. So, uh, let's keep going. We have a lot of ground to cover. We are not constrained by time. We can go for right, over an hour. Uh, so, uh, let's look at a trailer Black for Rocky. the License Rescue. And this is something uh, that we dragged out of the weeds, released many years ago. Kenichi. And we're going to bring it to Blu-ray for you. Kenichi. It's all about hot-blooded fighting martial arts. Yeah, Kenichi. Karate Master Sataki, the brash 100th degree street fighter. I think this is the Funimation show. Kensei, the uncanny master of Chinese Kenpo. Yeah. Shigure, the beautiful and lethal master of weapons. Yeah. TMS Amachai, is streaming the, the English dub on YouTube boxing. right now. I want to. I have so much to watch, but I really want to watch the wise movie. elder of unspeakable power. Kenichi, the yeah. spineless wimp. 
that is, until fate punches him in the throat. Her name is Liu, the new girl. She's cute, charming, and her martial arts skills are fierce. <laughs> Miyu lives with the six masters of Ryozan Haku Dojo, elite warriors who will now take Kanichi as their student, if he can find the motivation to face the toughest tribe of his life. If the training doesn't kill him first, Kanichi just might become the mightiest disciple. Coming so the Blu-ray. All right, so we uh, we have license rescued uh, the Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple TV series. Now, I don't know which of you guys assembled that trailer, but I, I have to uh, admire your gall in just taking the old trailer and putting some new motion graphics on top. Oh, that's not what I all I did. I cut that shit down by a good forty five seconds. That went <laughs> on forever. That went on a little too long. Well, that that background song, that stock music, has been stuck in my head for the last two days. So uh, you're responsible <laughs> for that. So, so tell us about Kenichi. What can we expect from this release? Okay, so that is, even though it was standard def, it was a super clean master, and it upscaled amazingly. So it looks really, really sharp, and I think everyone will be really pleased with it. Um, so it has the original Funimation dub, uh, and it will be coming out in two chunks, because it's two seasons. Uh, so one episode, oh, one good. season at a time, and uh, it will That's be coming out... Uh, Probably they were not all lineups of OVA series for 2014. Separate license. That's fine. And uh, just this is something that I wanted to know too. Uh, will will this include the uh, OVA episodes? No, those are a totally separate license. And that's one of those, maybe down the road. But uh, yeah, this is a this was a cool uh, shonen series of the early 2000s, and now it's back, baby. And uh, so, okay, so about, for those keeping score, Kenichi, the Mightiest Disciple, we're concern. doing that on Blu-ray in 2021. And uh, as usual, we're going to behold the wall of standard the def on Blu-ray releases. Look okay, at all that beautiful anime definition. that all it's fits on SCD just a disc or two per release. That's amazing. Okay, I see Bobo Bo, I see God Mars, I see Tessie Jim 28, and I see Wolf's 5. Wizard of Oz, Marmalade Boy? So uh, just to, uh, just to kind of get us uh, excited for Standard Def on Blu-ray, we're going to look at a clip of a series that is coming to Standard Def on Blu-ray, a mighty robot show that is 80s in all the best ways. Huh? 80s? Let's see. Laserion! Video Warrior Laserion. Toe. It's a Toe license. Finally got a new one. God, I just love intros like that. They don't make intros yeah. like that anymore. Video I know. I love how aggressive it is with the sound effects. And it just, yeah, it just looks breathtakingly 80s because it's from 1984. The classic stuff. Uh, so, so which of you guys uh, have been working on it? Is it you, Justin? Yeah, we barely started on this one, uh, but it's, uh, it's it's going well. I think the subtitles are almost done. Um, but yeah, we're we're it, it's one of those great series where it's just like you can tell that the animators were like computers are awesome yes yeah. computers are magical devices <laughs> right. in this around series. music's and, done and by joey side typing a few lines of basic the ghibli composer yeah. Um, yeah so yeah it's uh it'll be all on one disc 45 episodes uh subtitled only oh. and uh it yeah, will screwed up somewhere. i think yeah, yeah. This uh, I'm, I'm particularly proud of this packaging because I stole this illustration from a coloring book. Uh, we're still plumbing the depths for the best art, but uh, I think that turned out well. And uh, what, 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 what I was like, I was like, oh, this is real. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, I like I, that logo. I kind of know how to use Photoshop a little bit. Uh, well, I mean, I, I did also want to contrast it against the original sales material that uh, the licensor provided to us, which just uh, identifies the series as the Lazerion. I, th I think that's a uh, that's a good approach to do. Every discotheque title is now going to be the such and such. So the, <laughs> the banana, the simple the beer, laser. the hells, the kimono friends, Still. the fist of the North Star. Wait, that works too well. <laughs> The Black Rock Shooter. All right, so I hope you guys are excited. Dang it. We've got three licenses announced already. Video Warrior Lazerion is going to be released on Standard Def on Blu-ray coming soon. And uh, even though we do this every time, we are once again going to extend the pitch for Standard Def on Blu-ray. This right. is the way to bring the past into the, into the present, present without, without sacrificing the, the future. future. To coin a terrible uh, <laughs> early 90s magazine article sounding thing that I came up with when I was trying to slide. <laughs> Uh, this this is kind of how you have to do it to preserve this yeah. stuff. And uh, we expect to do many, many more of these uh, with good materials, careful authoring. <laughs> they are fantastic. <laughs> and I hope you all uh, bought that last week. Author. Samurai Pizza Cats. And it is coming out this month. Samurai Pizza Cats. Guys, what is, what is your favorite standard definition on Blu-ray release? I, I know, uh, Brady, it's Bobobo, right? Because of all the all of the horrible, miserable work you had to put in on that one. Yes, the mic tool. <laughs> I like Bobobo. The no, mic tool. Uh, the mic tool. Um, <laughs> I, I am uh, I'm kind of partial to uh, Samurai Pizza Cats because that was the first one we did, and it's like um, we were proving we could do something, and we didn't know if it would actually sell when we did it, and we were just like, well, maybe this will work, and it and it sold. So now we release like so much on SD Blu-ray, and we were kind of the first to do it here yeah. in America. Yeah. So like, yeah. I, I have my 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 heart. It goes to that one. Um, there were so many of the shows that, like the really, really long shows that we released on DVD back in the day that were like, oh man, we really want to go back and release that on SDVD. It would just take up so much less self space. We'd have to make fewer discs and save people money. And that, and then we'd look at the schedule and we're like, oh, we don't have time. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, I, I think what people don't realize about these two is even though it's just like, you know, you've got like 40 episodes on one disc, like Bobo or whatever, they still take the same amount of time Twitter. as. Twitter. Something that's high definition with 40 episodes. Because you still have to do all the subtitle styling, everything just the same. And it's, yep. it's harder because it's so much more on one disc. And like proofing these are crazy shout outs to Mark and Logan because like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do the proofing on these. Like it's just, it's too mind numbing. Yeah. And I, I know that there are fans out there who will just look at releases like this and say, well, it's not in HD. Why should. Why should I bother getting it? I, I say find a favorite that's in this format and take a chance on it because uh, it's it's honestly very impressive. And yeah, a lot of the times these things will never be in HD yeah. and can't be, you know? And, like, we upscale stuff when it makes sense to upscale it and the masters look good and there's a better... It looks better that way, but... You know, we don't, we don't pick SDBD stuff lightly. And so, like, if it's on SDBD, it probably... Yeah. Uh, with a rare exception, we'll never look better than what we've released. All right. And speaking of uh, SD Blu-ray releases, uh, there's there's more to get to. And in our next slide, we are going to look at another mighty robot. And this mighty robot has a lion on its chest. So let's see if anyone can guess what robot that's going to be. Huh? Another one? Here we go. Dalantias. ドンチョニス。みんな銀河の果てから Can't tell if it's going to be a tall eye license or sunrise license. But at least more, I need mean more towards tall eye. Okay. Man, I like.
like uh, I like the look of this show. I like the fact that the heroes are assisted by a child on a pig. That's good stuff. <laughs> and, and the robot has cool dude Pizza shades. Robot. Just look at him. Deltanius. Deltanius is an adjective, right? Like like fastidious or uh, gregarious. <laughs> it's a very deltanious thing to say, like a... Brady. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't been able to watch this with the subtitles yet, but I'm pretty sure it's the robot's name. Yeah, yeah, and this is uh, this is also famous for being the show that was originally supposed to be Voltron, but uh, they, 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 there were wires crossed, and uh, a different show became that instead. Um, but yeah, from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, MST. comes a legend. The legend of Deltanius, who has Del a lion on his chest. But yeah, this this is the show that set the exciting trend of the lion on the chest. That, uh, that several other uh, wonderful anime that we will not mention here because we don't have the rights to them currently. Uh, I love that somebody would guess this. Just like oh yeah, you immediately, lion. immediately. And one of my favorite things I'm watching of the 1,100 people watching our broadcast oh, is Lord. there's usually two or three people who Jeff, guess what we're, they're going to see in like that's the first second. Lion is just that. This that's impressive, you guys. Really that's true fandom. Chesty. That's true fandom. High level yeah. nerds here. High level. Okay. Heart hands to all of you, mm -hmm. all of you awesome people. So, to recap once again, uh, Deltanius gets a lion head as its little icon, and we are going to be releasing that on Standard Def on Blu-ray. Collect them classics, stack them up. And uh, now it is time for a City Hunter update. Because, of course, uh, we've, uh, we've been fortunate to become the champions of City Hunter in North America. And uh, as you all know, City Hunter is back, uh, and you can watch a whole lot of its streaming. In fact, pretty much the entire franchise is streaming on Crunchyroll, this? including the uh, subject of this wonderful key art, uh, The Death of Yosaiba, which was the final City Hunter release before they made that uh, fantastic new Shinjuku Private Eyes movie, which okay, you can get on Blu-ray from eye, us. Uh, that is something uh, I think is worth doing. But for the new release announcement, uh, you know, we've been promising this, but things are finally falling into place. And City we will be releasing two. City Hunter 2 on Blu-ray uh, over, the, over the next... Uh, year and some change and uh, this is actually a license rescue technically because uh, ADV Films released it way back in the day. Uh, now now what, what can you guys tell me about it? I know Justin There's you wanted to talk about its region coding right because it's, that's interesting. Yes, all of our City Hunter releases are region available a. for Region A and Region B. That means Same UK as, fans, uh, you, you got it. Got if your you're wish. one of our friends in Europe you can import this and it will play on your player. Or Australia actually for that matter. <laughs> That's good news. That's a question we get asked a lot, and the qu and the answer is almost always, you know, by license, our, our, you know, by contract, our stuff has to be region coded A for uh, North America and Japan only. But this is an exception. By the, by the way, Mike, uh, you made a mistake on this. The, I did. The second, yeah, the second opening to City Hunter 2 wasn't the best one. The best one's obviously Angel Knight by Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, be the best one is Sarah. God damn it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, my own night. Oh, don't come to my Oh, Sarah. Okay. I I don't think you can actually hear it, but I had the karaoke version of the song playing in the background. But uh, <laughs> all of the City Hunter songs are earworms. So. To keep right. you caught up, uh, City Hunter 2 is coming to oh, Blu-ray okay, so in 2021, nice. and uh, wow, that's five so far. Nice. We're not even halfway there, and we're living on a prayer. So to, uh, to the exactly 1,100 people in the in the chat, are we doing good so far? I hope we I hope we're keeping you guys entertained. How's our driving? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing the yeses flow in. That's yeah. giving me energy. And uh, we're going to do another clip of a new license uh, rescue. And this is something that I saw someone in the channel hollering about earlier. So I don't know how you predicted it, but good job. Uh, this is something I'm really excited to see just because uh, we found a piece of your childhood and we saved it because uh, we like doing that. So let's watch. Grin's Fairy Tale Classics. Play. Grimm's fairy tale classics. You gotta be kidding me. That's the one? That's the one. Grimm's fairy tale classics. Nippon. That's not a total license. Is 
the rest of them there. Okay, that's... <laughs> you got a kid. All right, so Grimm's Fairy Tales, huh? So, so what did we look at? Brady, was this your project? No, this is another one of mine. Oh, this is another one of yours, Justin. You, you yeah. work too much. I assisted uh, on this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brady definitely helped. But, um, okay, so this, a lot of people might remember it. It definitely aired on Nickelodeon. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know I saw it on definitely a sick day growing up. Um, so we could not find the English masters for this. Uh, we're not even sure they still exist. So we actually had to track down a bunch of bootlegs um, and recut the entire thing from bootleg VHS audio. That's uh -huh. the one. Actually, uh, our, our guy Caleb did that. They got anime back then? Yes, they uh, did. Took them. Actually, it's shockingly... Digimon Fusion, maybe? I was going to say, I don't think there were that many, many cuts. It was just a matter of resyncing the audio. There were some cuts. There were yeah. definitely some cuts. Some of it for tempo. Some of it for uh, oh, you can't show being you can't. people being crucified on television. <laughs> um, wasn't, wasn't there one? Wasn't there a part where like they're literally in hell and on fire oh, or something? Real. Yeah, that's the that's the bomb brass me. Oh man! Um, God. In the second, uh, <laughs> not not the second, the second season, there are actually this episodes. Take it? Something from me, but I make sure it's so. This first season and it is one for one. Basically dead. The English and the Japanese version on the same disc, so you will be able to compare and contrast. That's uh, that's good news for the completist. I like to hear stuff like that. And uh, there were people. The... Go ahead, Brady. Oh, I'm gonna say for the dub, we did recreate all of the like the '80s era titles and everything. So yeah, Br Brady's ability to sniff out a font is, is pretty impressive. So I'm like, <laughs> Brady, what is this? And he's like, Oh, that's, <laughs> that's Futura. Oh There's my God. The... I... <laughs> JVC. You, you use this font that is the, the Atari font that they use for everything. I was going to say, oh, come on. You you know you know Futura. You've seen Wes Anderson movies. <laughs> the, you know, the funny thing about this is the producer is Winston Richard, and he was the face of Zordon in Power Rangers. The guy oh, produced. yeah. Well, that's not surprising to me. I saw a lot of names I recognized in those credits. Tom Weiner. Who is the? Uh, I always think of him as the voice of the uh, Project Two Five Hundred One, the uh, you know the, the yeah. artificial intelligence in the original on. Ghost in the Shell movie, that deep scary movie coming, uh, that deep scary voice coming out of the naked lady's body. Yep, and Tony Oliver also worked on the show. But yeah, this is uh, this is something where you know it was a piece of your childhood, and uh, and we rescued it because it's also our childhood. So uh, <laughs> we we know that this is a silly little show, but we hope you guys are at least a little excited for it. I was shocked by how watchable it is. It's really entertaining. Oh yeah, it's solid. Uh, the the one like I think it's the uh, you know the the guy in the golden goose. It's like the main character is this big goofy portly guy with red hair. I always think of Tony. Totally. Go <laughs> the gun. Some, some, gun. Some stuff like this is some of my favorite stuff to work on because it's it really is like archiving something to history from history that is probably almost completely lost. Yeah. And now it's going to be out there on thousands of discs. That yeah. Oh. One thing I wanted to mention, uh, everything that we bring out that is either dub only or has only uh, English version, has a separate English version, the English versions are now closed captioned for the hearing impaired. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't yeah, know that. From, uh, we do that for 2019 on, uh, starting with Sonic X. Make sure we proof it. It's, um, you know, we, we make sure that our hearing impaired friends can enjoy these just as well as uh, us, those of us that can hear for now. Mm -hmm. All right, so... There's an element of restoration in, uh, in in what we just saw in Grimm. So, and and restoration is a real thing at Discotech Media, uh, as as illustrated by this uh, you know right. '90s uh, magazine we article last week and uh, the slide that uh, that came with the pitch deck I uh, I pirated to make this. Project Echo. But yeah, Project there's there's Echo. a lot of elements. You have to find the original stuff. You have to resync audio, uh, rescale or upscale, reauthor, restore, and you guys have had to do all of that stuff uh, with something that we're going to circle back on. Because we know fans are really into it, and that's uh, that's Project Echo. Right, so before we launch into that, uh, you provided me with a come. clip, and uh, because the clip is not clearly labeled, I just want to point out that the uh, the upscaled and you know the recaptured and upscaled material will be on the left side of the screen, and the original footage is on the right side of the screen. Is that correct, Justin? I believe so. I don't yeah. remember. I'm mildly dyslexic. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> it should anyway. be pretty odd. It, it's going to be very obvious. I just wanted to make sure people noticed. Anyway, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Wait, my 
back after that cordon bleu lunch of yours. No surprise, we're out there with placards around our necks described as a pair of hostile, disruptive students with no regard for the school. That's some reputation. Next time, you keep your lunchbox to yourself. Yeah. Wow! I thought we were good friends, so I wanted to give you something. Wow! Yeah. I'm sake, impressed. Stop loving. We'll get sent home if you don't. Shut up, will you? I've had just about enough for one day. In fact, I've had enough to last me a lifetime. I won't put up with this kind of thing in my class. What? So. The, the, the process, and this was just a first pass, right, Justin, is something that, that you... Yeah, that, that was literally the first test that we did yeah. with this process, and we're... I, I'm still convinced that the guy that's doing it is, you know, summoning demons or something, because I don't Freedom understand fighters. how this works. I don't understand mm -hmm. how it's possible. Yeah, it is a little shocking, because to me, it looks like, like, okay, that information isn't there in the video signal, so how is this uh, upscale process finding it? <laughs> It's kind of it amazing. It is there. It's buried deep under layers of blur, and somehow, with a combination of uh, AI and machine learning and a whole bunch of stuff I don't know about, um, <laughs> it is figuring out and recreating the actual paint and line textures, and it it, I, it blows my mind. I still can't I still can't wrap my head around it. Oh, and, and the thing is, is the test and I have talked about it, and we were like, "What is he doing? Is he like?" Well, when, did you miss? No. Well, when, no. when he sent us when he sent us the stills, the first stills that we saw, we were convinced that he was like he had bought a a like a, a cell scan or something on eBay and was yeah. was trying to screw with us. And we're yeah. just, like we just we I just missed him at first. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, even me. Like like I looked at it from every single angle. I'm like, how does he doing this? Like how? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's uncanny. But let's uh, let's talk for a second about all of the uh, the great features that that you guys have been working on for uh, bringing Project Echo back. Aside from the fact that it's so good to see that dubbing has gone better. Yeah. My, my my first anime. Yeah, actually, yeah. My, my uh, first second too. Myself, yeah. And, and Justin, yeah, so you 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 uh, you, you, did, you kind of had to pull off a feat of daring do to get a new interview with the singer of the uh, of the theme song from Project Echo, right? right? Yes, I've actually been tracking down all the Americans on staff uh, for the for the English uh, English songs. Um, so I've been in conversation with Richie Zito and Joey Carbone. I, I'm trying to get something together with them. No promises there, but I did get to interview Samantha Newark, who is a sweetheart, and she sat down with us. We have like a good half hour with her, and she uh, yeah she was able to give us a lot of insight. Uh, not just into what it was like to make the, the songs for ACO, but just kind of that life of uh, being a, a gig singer in the 80s mm -hmm. in uh, Hollywood. It's really fascinating stuff. Yeah. And yeah. as you as you may know, uh, she was also the speaking voice of uh, Jerrica Benton slash Gem in Gem and the Holograms. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, and a new commentary track, uh, newly translated. That's exciting, too. Yeah. So it will, we will be including the uh, original... Uh, commentary track with the director, but there's also another commentary track that's newly uh, translated. That we're translating that's with the voice, uh, the voice actor for Echo, and I think maybe some other uh, other ones too. Mm -hmm. But I, I, would, I think it's I think it's the main three, isn't it? Is it the main three? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that we we uncovered that and we're like, oh man, like nobody even knew about this. Yeah. Like it was just like a fluke that we found it. So uh, we're going to be including that too. Um, so it has two commentary tracks now. Yeah. Um, and then our, our 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 buddy Mark is going to be doing some intensive liner notes, and we're working on art galleries and a bunch of other things. Like I, I would say that the spreadsheet for this is like three pages long. Um, oh. Like there's a lot of stuff we're including on this. Um, it's so much, and uh, all of the sequel films included, uh, the direct sequels, I should say. Uh, so Project Echo two, uh, plot of the Daito Kuji Financial Group, three, uh, Cinderella Rhapsody, and four final are all on there, and all three are getting the Astro Res treatment. That was going to be my question that I wanted yeah. to hold for this. That's incredibly exciting. Uh, I watched... So I watched these films on Retro Crush, which we'll be talking about later, and uh, the second one isn't that great. Th uh, three and four, I thought, were quite good and good companions to the original, but they didn't look very good because they, you know, old video masters, you know. Yeah. So uh, I want to say this: none of these films have ever been actually deinterlaced. Like every release, even the Japanese release, are just inter. You know, like they're 30, uh, 30, uh, 30 films interlaced, and so I literally spent the last week. Uh, de-interlacing 
the widescreen version of Project Echo 1 and then the, the three masters of 2, 3, and 4 direct from the masters mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, IVTC them uh, so that we can use them in the asteroids process. <laughs> and they even not upscaled, they look way better uh, in progressive 24 frames per second. Um, and a, a lot of the reason why these films do not look good on the prior releases is because the um, for the first two they're like weird like they have weird shimmering problems which I was able to mitigate mostly and then the they all have really bad interlacing problems where if uh, when you do a normal deinterlace in IVTC um, you'll get you know some interlace problems like I have a, a, a program that will search out after I do a basic deinterlace all the leftover interlace frames and normally that will give me I would say oh a thousand to three thousand frames that will report and you know there's false positives and usually it's the credits and a lot of different things like that but on project echo one that thing reported 25,000 frames that I had to go through and fix by hand I think across all four specials, I went through by hand 50,000 frames looking to see if it actually was interlaced, all that sort of stuff. So I fixed this, these, these four masters by hand. And so now that we have those deinterlaced, we can send it through this process. And they do have more, because the 4x3 version, which looks amazing, is coming from a, an amazing laser disc cap. But these are the actual master tapes that we found. And so those should also look as good, if not better, than the clip that we showed, hopefully. Yeah, the thing is, um, we, uh, these tapes are 35 years old. They were never meant for any of this. Okay? No, <laughs> like, yeah. the, uh, and the thing with AstroRes is that, as a miracle that it is, you have to feed it a completely progressive signal, otherwise it doesn't look so hot. So, yeah. yeah, we, unless we are just spit polishing the crap out of these things, it's just, it's, you know, we're not going to get anything releasable, but this time everything lined up perfectly. And yeah, I, we're lucky. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so I, we're, we're, we're so very exciting. lucky like that they deinterlace like this too, because like if they were frame blended or whatever, we'd be screwed. Like we're, we were super lucky to be able to fix it. And the vast majority of old bad masters are frame blended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, just the the idea of de, you know deinterlacing is a very tough, intimidating uh, process. And and Justin, you also discovered something interesting. Like this, there was a kind of a French teaser that has been attached to the film for a while. And I, I think the yeah. fandom thought for a long time it was you know it was a, a sales trailer or a promo because it's just narrated. Yeah, well, we thought it was being you know it got a theatrical in France, and then I noted I looked at the long version of the. You know, they trimmed off a slate at the end. That is, and I looked at it and I'm like, oh, showing in the Shinjuku theaters? That's not a French release trailer. <laughs> yeah, it's li literally on the back of the laserdisc. They they say on the back of lasers, it is the French trailer, even though it's not. <laughs> it totally it is. says it says French language trailer, and it turns out that they just made it in French for the Japanese just to be fancy. <laughs> okay, well and let's. That, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's have a look at it real quick. This, this is kind of, this is pretty cool. Ici c'est CD 138621C113. Nom de code D. C'est mon premier rapport sur l'affaire dont on procède à une enquête depuis quelques temps. Voilà l'avancement au moment actuel de la production de ce film, les données personnelles des actrices. La première, Mademoiselle Eiko. Sa puissance peut même être comparée avec celle d'un monstre. Slogan publicitaire, une lycéenne sans pareil au monde. Mademoiselle Bico, elle présente une contradiction. Elle est d'une intelligence remarquable, mais les caractères personnels sont ceux d'un enfant. Slogan publicitaire, un danger dans une belle folle. Mademoiselle Chico, le slogan, le tournesol volant. Ses actions, ses traits de caractère et autres détails sont inconnus. Le film en question est actuellement tourné avec ses trois films. Le contenu du film n'est pas encore dévoilé. Je continue à procéder à cette enquête. Le film s'appellera Projet Eiko. <rire> yeah. Wow, and I, I don't know if you even picked up on this, Justin, or maybe your translator mentioned it. That's a really peculiar accent, too. That's like kind of Air South's French going on there. Well, the, 
the translator got back to me and she was very confused. She was like, what, what is this? I don't, I've never heard these expressions before. Yeah, the really weird insults. You also sent along uh, for the deck a couple of frame examples of uh, Astro Res in action. So on the yeah. left is, is the original data and on the right is, is what Astro Res can do for us. Yeah, these, these are Yo, a little let's further along go. in the process. Let's I'll, go. I'll, show, I'll show some more on Twitter later. Yeah. Um, but these are just a couple frames. Who has the Japanese home video rights? Crazy detail this thing can bring out. Show the next one. Yeah, hang on. Gonna switch back. Yeah, there we go. This yeah. and that's Bro, that's just a background shot of, of a doorway. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> look, this looks, look at uh, the shadow of Cyborg the Cyborg 009, frame. the Japanese like, that is incredible. That was just videos of Yeah, it was, yeah, it was completely blown off the screen. That's and like I said, it's just like I don't understand how they found it because it it's just completely concealed. I mean, when you when you feed nine billion anime pictures into a AI, I guess it starts to learn things. I don't even know that that's how this works. <laughs> yeah, dude, that too, that too. Like that's the, that's like only our best guess. Like it's crazy. Yeah. And, and, and for the record, we've tried everything else. We've tried everything else, and we're just like nothing comes close to this. <laughs> no, we've we've tried to replicate this, like to figure it out ourselves, and it's just like no. What What's interesting is you know maybe someday one of the original films will be found, and they'll you know they'll they'll scan it, and then it will be a question of will it really look that much better. Than what is being done to to the to this video version. That's really something. <laughs> well, all right. In in terms of uh, restoration <laughs> and rescuing what stuff, uh, this this next one is much simpler. It just no, involved no, a uh, mid two thousand show being upscaled. I'm a little excited about it because it's very cute and because uh, I don't think I've seen anyone guess that this is something that was going to be rescued and released. But uh, I definitely know that this is some people's favorites. So let's let's watch uh, the uh, promo for this very cute show. Very cute. はじめまして。私青葉小瀬です。ナルタ基礎ってアパートの親をやってます。小瀬ちゃんラブリーです。ええ、おかえり。ごちそうさま。手伝って。お母さんだけだよ。マホラーバ。マホラーバ。皆さ
that is so early 2000s. I love that. The right. theme song is such an earworm. It's my jam. I love it. All right. It's finally <laughs> coming. Metabots Season 3 finally gets so its own video. So we finally release. found a copy of this. Uh, we were searching for it. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be around. from Goldansha. Yeah, we got it. Uh, took some took nice bounce effect, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is the English dub version. And uh, we, we cleaned it up. Uh, it looks pretty darn good now. And it will be on SDVD. 39 episodes this season. It, and it's the Still, first time it's ever been on home video guys. anywhere. What's else. the situation? That it's is done. exciting. And I, I, I think my favorite twist in this tale right. is we went to the original Summer. North American licensor, uh, Nelvana, and, and they never really got back to us. So we don't even know if they had the master tapes from it, but we found it. And it was on, like, one of the streaming video services. It had been delisted, but they still had the files. And the files were pristine. Ah. Nice. So we will be releasing uh, Metabots Season 3 in uh, SD Blu-ray in 2021. So, and in the spirit oh, of restoring oh, stuff, so uh, we, we need, we need to talk and, uh, about a very important subject, and that Here subject is, Ninja. is Ninja Robots. Brady, Work you want to tell us about uh, the triumphs and conflicts we've been facing with Ninja Robots? So, yeah, Ninja Robots. Um, uh, the big thing is, is we have um, uh, the first 20 episodes uh, complete, um, and they, like, almost completely sync up to the first 20 episodes, minus a couple things here and there that we have to fix, but, like... So we'll have that it, super silly yeah. dub in Blu-ray quality. Yeah. That's awesome. Correct, for the for the first 20. Now, uh, after our last stream, we, we asked for people, to, you know, if you have recordings of this to reach out. A, uh, we were gotten in contact with a fan who has recordings of the latter half episodes. Yeah, However... Um, we, we've only been able to, uh, find, uh, all of the, uh, all the episodes except for episodes 24 through 26 and 38 through 43. We have the rest, but we're missing those, like, I think it's like, how many, is that nine. eight episodes? Nine. Something yeah. That. Just nine. Yeah. So we, we're looking for those eight episodes and honestly, any other <laughs> recordings nine. as well people have of that back half. So if you have recordings. I saw someone um, in the chat who says they think they have episode 43 that they found on YouTube. So, yeah. uh, chat person, please uh, please reach out to us on social media or email us via the website. That's extremely important. Uh, yeah. that's, that's, this is one of those things that we might not get all the episodes, but we're going to get as close as we possibly can to getting okay. that full English dub back. So, yeah, if you have any of the episodes of uh, episodes, you know, 21 through 43, please contact me or the Discotech Media Twitter and let us know. Um, I, I want to say that I have, before people ask, I have reached out to... Cartoon Network, Southeast Asia, where it aired, uh, Australia. Um, I've reached out to Buzz Alexander, who who produced it. I've reached out to my old boss, who now works for Alexander Entertainment uh, Group. Uh, I've really? reached out. Yes. Um, <laughs> at, uh, I've reached out to. I talked to the the head of Cartoon Network, Southeast Asia, who runs like the um, archives department. They do not have it. Um, if people have recordings of this, it's likely probably in Australia, uh, because, uh, after talking to, uh, some people in Southeast Asia, um, uh, they said to me that when this aired, and they remember it fondly, but when this aired, they weren't into recording things like there, they didn't really have VHS decks there. Yeah. So the most likely, uh, place to find this is either Australia or New Zealand, uh, when it aired. Um, so if anybody knows anybody in Australia who's an anime fan who might have recordings of these, anybody please bug your friends, That's please ask them, please get in touch with us again on the Discotech Media Twitter or reach out to us through the website or anything. Um, Twitter's <laughs> the easiest. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you also wanted to share some uh, pretty amazing <laughs> clips. So oh yeah, there's should... some amazing yeah. clips to this. It's a very much almost uh, like a ghost story stuff. Which is funny because it's a super like hot blooded, uh, straight faced, uh, you know, eighties uh, mecha anime. But let's let's oh. look at this one. So, did, I, did I ever tell you that mom said she found you in a garbage can? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, I, I want to hear that one again. So did I ever tell you that mom said she found you in a garbage can? Yeah, that that <laughs> that one. Yes, it's true. Like I was it's found the in a original of But uh, you, you also found some clips One that are the very original topical about uh, current events. So let's look at those. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Colonel, 
field. The Exeter, the Exeter, the, the aliens are heading toward the restricted... Here. Very well. This is our last chance to stop up. Okay. Start a blockade. Don't I'll let anybody start, uh, get near the extraterrestrials, no matter what happens. But, right but, 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 but if we do that, we can't <laughs> deliver the vaccines. We can't worry about a small village when our whole country is at stake. If we don't exterminate the ETs <laughs> now, who knows what'll That's happen? It, yeah. Major, hurry. We have no time to lose. Listen, you're out of options. You either trust me and get your vaccine, or wait for the army to make up its mind. Thank you for the vaccine, nurse. Goodbye. Wait, stop. You mean I'm trusting you with the lives of all these sick children? This is ridiculous. We can't trust him. Everything that's happening is your fault. Don't you have a conscience? Please leave here. Things will improve if you leave this place. Just go. I like that, though. The lead characters play it straight, but every other voice is a <laughs> yeah, preposterous that, that cartoon voice. So weird. Yeah. I love that even the Ninja Robots know okay. the importance of the vaccine. Yes, yes. And, 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 and you know, the channel, can, you know, the channel clearly understands well, that uh, it's imperative that we find the rest of this stuff. Let's look at another clip. Yeah. Kakarna, look! It's the young man who brings the va 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 Huh? <laughs> I keep getting distracted by this. We must help him! If we don't, the va 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 Crying out loud, Major, spit it out. The vaccine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this I, is I like, gagged I, up. I mean, <laughs> yeah. so did you check the Japanese <laughs> the version, Brady? Did this, did this character have uh, right. a speech issue? Right. In that I version? have not <laughs> checked it out yet. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I want to think that yeah. like, it's probably because they were trying to match the lip flaps or something, or, or they just wanted yeah, to no like, give this guy a weird voice. Like, it seemed website, like, like going through the episodes so. of this, it seemed like the guys who made this like really, really had fun with it. Yeah, like, yeah. just had a lot of time fun. I mean, part of the problem too in finding the dub for this is that it, it's so weird because like the, the dub is crazy, and then like the credits for it are, are credits that aren't even for the stuff. Like the, the credits are wrong, they're completely wrong, and they're infuriating because they're all LA actors, and it's just like they probably made a pilot episode of this that we're never going to be able to find. Well, 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 actually, we Wait, we didn't find the pilot episode, oh, but we did Miami, find Miami. the bumpers with okay. voiceover by Cam, Cam Clark, Clark. From, the, yep. from that yeah, from the LA dub. So, like, <laughs> that must have existed at some point. But yeah, like, we have no idea who or any of these actors are or anything. It's so batshit. It's like the most batshit thing I've ever tried to like arche like dig in an archaeology. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Well, I, I want to point out one thing before we run the final clip is that Mr. Stutter here is blonde. And then, then what's the hair color of the person in the next clip? Colonel, your wife is c c c c c on the phone. That doesn't appear to be the same character at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, Maybe they made a mistake, but... The vaccine arrived just in time. And all thanks to a young man named Joe. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Colonel, how is Mama Mina? Give those young people all the fuel they need. Yeah, 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 right. Mina, my Mina. <laughs> the, way, the way he says, I oh. see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a crazy, mistake. wonderful dog. <laughs> So yeah, this, this is from one of those lost episodes, just so mm -hmm. you guys know, this is from the first 20. So like, if we do not All right, find the rest, disco tech online. Like, it's imperatively find it. Like, we have to find the rest of this gold. Right, so... Um, like that, the the retro crush. The you know Amazon. you were born in a, a, you were retro found in a garbage again. can. That's from an episode where I'm missing part of that scene. So like that's like the only clip I have of that. So please, if you if you know where this is, tell us, please. We want to bring it to everybody yeah. so bad. If you have friends who, who, in Australia who were anime fans in the '90s and had a VCR in their home, just just shoot them a message on Facebook, see if they might have an episode. Probably not, but it never hurts to ask. And uh, speaking of watching things online and doing stuff online, uh, just a reminder, you can watch a bunch of your favorite discotheque anime online. Uh, there, we, we kind of have a three-prong attack going on lately where a lot of our stuff is on Crunchyroll, more than 70 titles, including movies and OVAs. Yeah. Uh, of course, we love Retro Crush. Recently, we are bringing the spirit of 80s, 90s, and uh, 2000s, because yeah, 2000 is retro now. Uh, but you know, back, back to fans online. And, uh, you can see some of our dubs there that we produced ourselves, including Hells and uh, Lupin the Third, Legend of Gold of Babylon there. And uh, lately, we have been adding stuff uh, directly to Amazon Prime. So you can you can watch all of Ghost Stories there. You can watch the 2004 uh, Tetsujin 28 series. 
and uh, the new so. City Hunter Shinjuku Private Eyes. If you if you don't have a Crunchyroll subscription <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, don't have that service, you can now watch and that I on Amazon. So you guys ain't if you like to have uh, lots of options, of and uh, of course, Charge Man Ken is all over the place. Platform. That is extremely, yeah, extremely important. Phone, Please though, watch so. Charge Man Ken. Anyway, yeah, we're God, we've been going for almost an hour. So let's get back to those new announcements. This is another uh, wonderful classic Super Robot series. In another fact, one! You might say the third in a trilogy of sorts that uh, many people have guessed, but let's watch it. Here we go. <laughs> Dino! They got it. They got it all. Wow, what could be more hot-blooded and manly than a truck Fine, that General. turns into a fighting robot? And uh, that is Dimos. We are bringing that to standard def on Blu-ray. And uh, that is part of the Robot Romance trilogy, which also includes uh, Voltus V and um, Combat Lord. Yeah, Combatler V. Uh, so, so we're, uh, we're we're bringing more of that good stuff out, and uh, uh, Japanese audio with English subtitles, uh, 44 episodes. This this to me, I always this always strikes me as uh, the main character Akira and his uh, his sidekick there with the afro. This was one of those first shows that female fans really latched onto in Japan because it had it. It totally has a are they more than friends relationship going on. Mm. Very very vintage stuff. I also like the cover uh, art mm. here that that I was able to find. I like uh, Erica, the heroine, kind of giving Akira the side eye there, like, oh, he's on his Daimos stuff again. But as you can see, there's, right. I gave it a little truck icon because uh, Daimos turns into a truck. And uh, real quick, I do want to address, someone was asking about the dubbed version. Uh, there was a dubbed version of this produced by a company in the Philippines called Telesuccess Productions. Uh, we asked about that, and we were not able to get permission. So we yeah. always want to include that stuff. Sometimes it just isn't possible. Yeah, but totally. uh, we're very excited to be bringing Daimos to you and uh, bringing the classics back into print. Uh, and so that one is coming your way in 2021. Now it is time for the customary Lupin the Lupin Third. Lupin the Third. Uh, we, oh boy. We have many, many recent releases. Uh, Secret of Twilight Gemini and Tokyo Crisis are, uh, are coming out now. We previously announced the woman called Fujiko Mine. And uh, that one is going to be coming soon. I, uh, I like the, the cover treatment uh, that you did on this Brady. I'm assuming this was you who kind of made it uh, on this new special look like the villain was throwing the logo at Lupin. Uh, yeah, so the the, uh, the logo was designed by uh, Jonathan Sandoval. He helped me with this, but yeah, we like sort of I like repositioned it a bit, so it was like he was holding it. But I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, and and like the finale cinematic was was letterboxed in the master, but you upscaled it so it uh, it fills the screen now. Cor Something correct. Like so yeah, when we got to the ending, uh, I noticed that it was letterboxed, and it seemed weird. Like it, it just like like it. It just becomes like a small box in the middle of the screen. So we, up, you know, we upscaled that to uh, widescreen. I mean, it was already HD, so it doesn't really look upscaled or anything. So it looks good. Yeah. Um, uh, this all includes the, obviously the, the English dub, um, uh, and then uh, there's you know there's a lot of liner notes. Um, this one was directed by uh, Nabishin, but you know uh, Sh Shinichi Watanabe who did you know Excel Saga. Not Shinichiro um, Watanabe who did Cowboy right. Bebop. Correct. So, Those guys get mixed up a lot. Correct. So, but <laughs> interestingly enough, if you see the guy in the green coat there, it's a character called Nozoloth, and he is sort of a prototype kind of character for the Nabishin character in Excel Saga. So, yeah, uh, it kind of has that. I mean, it has that kind of weird humor that you would uh, not as not as like far far down the rabbit hole as Excel Saga, but it's definitely very much. Uh, 
uh, not mission uh, special. Um, like with all the all these specials, we um, we cleaned up all the sort of weird translations and stuff that were in the old subtitles. They're based off the old subtitles, but there's a lot of rewriting to do, and all we 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 uh, translated all the missing signs and all that sort of stuff. Um, luckily, unlike Tokyo Crisis, there wasn't like nine billion Japanese signs in this one, thankfully. But, uh, we did we did add a quite a bit, and uh, uh, it's never had such a uh, uh, a good looking uh, transfer before. And uh, you know, we we of course uh, really love Lupin the Third, and we, and we know you guys do too. This is. The franchise has kind of turned into one of the Here cornerstones of uh, what we do at Disney. Right now. So, uh, so we we're excited Lupin. to bring more and more to you. And uh, next month, of course, we'll be releasing the first loop on the third film in 4K, The Castle of Cagliostro. That, that, that release kind of broke your brains, guys, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah because we figured out that you can't do art galleries. <laughs> so we ended up having to, like, we didn't delete the we like unlike sane people who would have said you know what we're just going to delete these art galleries we actually rendered out all the art galleries that we had in the previous release as videos as movies, <laughs> yeah. 4K. Yeah. In 4k in 4k so yeah i mean we also i don't know why we did part this, three we could see all of the a little extra loop on the eight that we've ever made yeah why did we do that it wasn't smart yeah. Because Castle of Cagliostro is like the White Album, guys. There, there are fans okay. who will buy it over and over. I think I believe that to be true. I'll, so, I'll be doing it. There's, <laughs> there's also I some uh, cool new features on that as well. Um, uh, uh, there's, a, so the, there's a storyboard version of the opening with deleted scenes in it that we put together. Um, uh, there's a all new 4K trailer. There's a couple little nice things like that, and as well as the entire movie. As a, the uh, isolated score track, uh, so you can hear Mrs. that Lupin. really amazing yeah. Giotto music. We thought, um, yeah, that's uh, if you want to just listen to it in the background while you're doing like something. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Lots of neat stuff. Yeah, the real reason we missed by a dollar. Second prediction could be on that third versus Tefikona. True. I, I mean, like, yeah, because like stuff. Castle of Cagliostro was what, like, our third Blu-ray, maybe, or something like that. Like, it was pretty early on. Yeah. So we fixed a lot of things. That's pretty exciting. And of course, uh, I'm not doing like lots of slide animations with bullet points, so we've just been letting, you know, leaving the teaser I'm for sorry. two new loop on the third licenses hang there for the last several minutes. Uh, should, 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 we, should we tell them, guys? Should we spill the beans? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's, okay let's, let's look at the cliff. Loop right. on the third part three. They've finally done it. This intro is a jam, and you won't tell me it any different. For real, they—they're finally ready to do this. It's streaming on Crunchyroll right now. So, it's finally happening. Look on the third, part three. It's ready. All right. All right. They built that city man on rock and roll. On 80s J pop. <laughs> Every um, bit of it. Every so, bit of part three. So this series on is really interesting. It's, it's no. kind of divisive, but I think like that nowadays it might be more appreciated. Now. I think um, it's gonna get some traction, man. And hey, that's a real yo. Blu-ray, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's real Blu-ray uh, with no funky upscaling or anything. Um, new translation. Uh, there's a bunch of like trailers and stuff for extras. Like nothing super duper deep, but there's a lot of a lot of little neat things. Um, they, get, they also gave us a, a, like a lot, a lot, a lot of the show's production art, 
for this one. So we're probably gonna have a pretty decent gallery for this. Um, oh, yeah, it's gonna be that. very nice. Yeah, this is this is. I mean, this. I think this is definitely a show due for a second look because people associated it with Gold of Babylon, which is cool, but is probably the weirdest Lupin. And this is this has got a real style to it. I think this has like the handsomest versions of the characters because like Lupin has that super tight uh, hairdo, like way more sculpted and stylized stylized than usual. Uh, there's so much volume in Goemon's hair, and, and you actually see Chigen's eyes. He's wearing a lighter blue suit too. He's got some some style to him. Yeah, it's interesting. Like I think nowadays, the, because they're, it's very stylized and very simplified, probably because of the budget at the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that nowadays people would have like embraced this design more so than in the eighties. Because like, uh, I mean, I think it looks really neat, um, especially the the first half designs. Because uh, people think of it as Golden Babylon, so, and those are like the second half designs now. for this. Right. Um, they kind of changed the designs halfway through. But yeah, it's a really neat show, and I'm hoping once we put out the Blu-ray. Uh, which is like 50 episodes. Um, it's a ton of it. Uh, That's exciting. That is, there's, there's a lot of Every it, yeah. Uh, so right. Once it comes out, people will actually give it a second look because I think it's worth it. So to keep you caught up, we got a, a loop on the third uh, part three to add to the big list, and it's it's got a pink jacket as an icon. Right. And I'm thinking so maybe uh, means... we, we can take a little diversion. There's... We don't have a clip for this yeah. one, but yeah. let's. Uh, I'm thinking green jacket. How about some green jackets? Green jackets. Yeah, yeah, let's do no. it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, one of the uh, rare girl. Lupin the Third OVAs, not not a TV special, not a TV series. This is a direct to video release. Correct. A lot of poopage right there. <laughs> well, look, okay, I hey, mean, not, it's, not it's, technically breaking the terms of service. Yeah, right. it's, it's it's so much that it is okay, actually lit up the you middle got of the screen. Me now. <laughs> My my favorite part though is like the sine wave nipple that goes off of it. <laughs> like, like what? Like I don't even know. Like this. Well, is they the, they can't show that actual part, but they can show the suggestion of the part. Yeah, it's so it's such a it's such a strange thing. But yeah, so for this one, um, if you have the Japanese Blu-ray, the Japanese Blu-ray. This is a, a special uh, produced in standard definition digital, and so the Japanese Blu-ray has a really weird upscale. It's not that good. Uh, we actually went back and found the original master before it was upscaled. So we're doing a new upscale that should uh, hopefully look a lot better. I mean, just just from do, you know doing it from our normal process, it will look better. But we're exploring ways to make it look a little even better than that. So ho hopefully, at the very least, it'll look better than the uh, Japanese release. And this this is also interesting in that the the Pycal character was an adversary in one of the original series TV episodes. So uh, <laughs> it's something of a throwback. He was, uh, he was someone who claimed to be a magician, but really wasn't, but now oh, yeah. he's back, and maybe he is. Yeah, in, in fact, the alternate title for this is The Return of the Magician. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and that's that's what we got going. We got Pink Jacket and Green Jacket Lupin uh, coming at you, and, oh, and we are rounding into the home stretch on our panel. We do want to take some time to talk about dubbing anime at Discotech Media because we have been uh, at work getting some new dubs produced, and uh, some of you know, you know about, some of you don't. Let's watch an entire episode of something really delightful that I absolutely love. Good morning, everyone. It's another it must perfect be banana. day to run and play. Mm. Right. Sorry, Ben. Our out. story begins banana. at the foot of this mountain in a magical forest filled with banana trees. And banana these trees, trees grow very special bananas by the bunch <laughs> Uh, the first season produced, what, I think, in-house? 
Uh, what could it possibly be? Listen to it. That's not case this time. Creatures, absolutely nothing is impossible. Banana and a curious bunch. So there's there's your sneak preview of Banana season two, Banana and the Curious Bunch. And uh, mm -hmm. when this was announced, there were a lot of people who were like, "Hey, you got you were the narrator yes, in the first should. season, so are you back?" And no. In the original version, the narrator changed. Uh, they, they hired uh, Yuki Kana, uh, a seiyuu and a variety show performer, to play the narrator. So obviously, we wanted to follow suit. Uh, so uh, we partnered with Sound Cadence, who produced the dub. And as you heard, they did a wonderful job. And the new narrator of Banania for season two is Lindsay Shepard. So uh, that's, uh, that's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, OK, there's the graphic. There's that bounce effect again. <laughs> See, she's in a Banania silhouette. Uh, we love Bananya a whole bunch. It's so cute. It's such a fun series. And yes, there is a pirate Bananya in this. And uh, yeah. it's, it's something banana. different. It's I also, yes. you know, if you are interested in the technical challenges of dubbing, you don't have to worry about lip sync in something like this or a lot of secondary voices. So it's easy. Yeah, that's it, uh, this is the, the kind of thing that we, uh, we, have, we go for and have a lot banana. of fun uh, playing with. But uh, Justin, you, you can speak to what's coming next uh, because uh, this is something that you've been managing lately. Yes, yes, I have. So uh, right actually, here on Twitch. Um, I talked a little bit about this last stream, and it's been uh, we're we're still working on the dub. It's being recorded pretty much as we speak, uh, and we're doing uh, uh, three segments. We're doing <laughs> right. Rose at NYAB Post Very and Cannon Fodder and Stay here on Twitch. Let's go. Yeah. And we're really excited about that because you know we're matching what the Japanese did one animation one short was done at uh, Madhouse and the other two were done at Studio Four Degrees. Um, once it's done, which we're hoping for next month at some point, uh, we're not going to commit to a date yet, we are going to have the world premiere right here on Twitch, right here. Uh, and it'll be open oh, to everybody. That's exciting. We'll, we will let you know as soon as we have a date. That's kind of hard. Um, like, so four lives as hard. we're still working on it, we're, we can't. Yeah quite share the cast list for Magnetic Rose yet. We're, we're juggling a few a few uh, choices. Uh, however, for the other two, we're already done casting. So, let's take a look. Okay, so we uh, have Steve Bong, so we, we have, have Seven uh, Steven Chris Fu as Nobuo, Stephen Kelly, and Steve Bong, he is perfect. Mike Paul against Kira Buckley. Nailed it. Uh, Omaida, his he brought Kira Buckley. His very high-strung boss uh, is Chris Guerrero. Uh, uh, Hirosaki is Stephen Kelly. Kamata, these are all men in suits for the most part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Giovanni uh, Matadrago and uh, I'm probably going to well. sorry. And then uh, yeah, Mike Pollock is the general officer. And Sakiko, the front desk girl, is uh, Kira Buckley. So you got some uh, you got some younger talent and you got some veterans there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. People might know Mike Pollock as Dr. Robotnik or Eggman. So yeah. I've, I've liked that guy. He was in a show for Media Blasters called uh, I think it was Demon Fighter Kocho, which was like it was an etchy title, and he has that great like radio gag comedian voice. He's uh, he's hilarious in almost anything he does. Really versatile. So. Yeah. He, he he was actually in. Um, uh, Ginray and Giant Robo, and they had spelled his name wrong, and I fixed it. And <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Please explain so, the uh, shit. And then we have Cannon Fodder. Uh, right. And that's all cast now. Oh, so we have right uh, Jack Britton as Ray, the Ellie boy, Ray. Uh, Ellie Ray oh, as God, his Michael mother. Uh, and Philip Sacramento. I, she blew me away. She was she's so entertaining as and a mother. Those are really mother. interesting because I think uh, Jack and Ellie Ray are uh, those are Canadian performers. So this uh, this is an international dub. Well, you know, the nice part about everyone reporting from home now is that uh, it doesn't matter where you live anymore. Yeah. Wasn't Ellie Ray so, one of the My Little Ponies, too? You know, I, I don't even know. I, I think she might be in there. I, she I know Michael Sorich. He's an old head. Look at him. Look at that smile. He was one of the Robotech guys. Ray. Well, that, yeah, that's California. 
And then uh, Mike Pollock again as the, as the father, and then we have uh, Philip Sacramento as MLP. the uh, the cannon operator. So she was right. And so there, yeah. there was something else. You're he right. kind of threw this screenshot MLP. at me, Justin. So I just left yeah. it unaltered. So so what are we looking at here? <laughs> okay. So the Miss thing with me? magnetic rows is that there's about four minutes of footage that was digitally processed or layered in some way, and when they printed it, you know, this was 1995 and digital animation was at its absolute earliest state and it all looked very bright and garish. So they're like, what can we do to make this, to dirty this up and make it look like film? I know we'll output it to analog video and print it to film. Mm -hmm. Well, we think they did it at around 360p. Uh, wow. It, it looks- So you had to filter it, yeah. We yeah. had to do something to it because it, it we were looking at all the interviews that were done at the time, and and they're really proud of it. We're like, we're, we think it blends in perfectly with the traditional animation. We're like, uh, not in HD. <laughs> um, so, you know, we tried a bunch of stuff, and we we're actually pretty satisfied with the results. I can't and then, that. you know, After Res came up, and we're like, huh, why don't we feed it through After Res? And it's still being worked on, but as you can see, the results look a lot better. Yeah. Um, for sure, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we're we're pretty excited about that. And uh, but yeah, the big news is uh, almost done with the uh, with the dub of Magnetic Rose and it, or not Magnetic Rose with Memories, the whole thing. Uh, yeah. And and you got we got an all star cast lined up, and we're going to have that premiering right here on this channel on Twitch, hopefully January, but uh, you know next winter for sure. And uh, hopefully we'll have a date soon uh, to share with next, you guys. Next winter, like in a month. Yeah, next winter, which is to say next month in January. Uh, yes. I was about to say, is it this winter or next winter? What's yeah. the proper? And now we're going to tease something really cool that we uh, that you may have noticed right at the beginning. Black Rock Shooter, let's go. <laughs> Yo! Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just a cat. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's a real thing that they really made, huh? So yeah. So that's oh, I'm sorry. Product. And then it's really funny because like that's not one any of the Japanese Blu-rays or anything, but they actually sent that to us with the materials for Thermae Roma. So, like. <laughs> I just, I love oh, that. I love that. I really love people. that. But yeah, I just wanted to use that and remind people that uh, Therme is out on Blu-ray. Yep. And it has this month. Been, this month with an amazing dub by our, our pals at Sound Cadence. Yeah. It's really funny. Um, it's working on this Crunchy dub Bro was right just, now. Uh, 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 just great. It's really funny. Um, I, I, uh, I, I can't help but encourage everybody to go out and check this show out. Um, I believe we, do we have a clip, a clip here? Oh, come on, not now. Uh, what, of Thermi? No, I, I, I just have the commercial. I didn't, uh, oh, okay. I didn't gotcha. bring back the old clips. We, we showed those over last summer when we first started producing that. Uh, I, don't quote me on this, but I think the dub for Thermi Romai that we made with Sound Cadence, I think you can actually watch that on, uh, on Crunchyroll. It, it is on Crunchyroll, yes. Yeah, so, so definitely uh, check that out. And uh, you know, we, we cruelly teased uh, the the existence of, uh, of 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 what you saw for just a second. But not not only uh, can we confirm that exists, uh, we'll we'll share a clip with you in just a second. But the big yeah. announcement is the TV version of Black Rock Shooter, the guns blaze and heroin, uh, created by the uh, the, the yeah, Dochinchi yeah. and, uh, and and indie artist Huke is uh, is going to come out on Blu-ray soon. So was this was this something that you you've been producing for oh, a year? So, uh, yeah, yeah, so I have been working uh, on this. Uh, not with some the OVA. Um, uh, this is a, we're doing an all new English dub. It's only the TV episode. That's all we have. The TV stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, it's dubbed in English and it's uh, pretty they far as the production. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I do have to shout out to Noel who did a lot of the heavy lifting, uh, helping me go through the English dub scripts okay. and making sure that everything is in line. Uh, with the Japanese, and because there's a, there's a lot of like nuanced stuff in the show, mm -hmm. and everybody who's worked on it, from Noel to the um, the uh, English staff, has been very careful and very uh, uh, 
Okay. Very okay. aware of the, right. the, the nuances and everything of the show, so hopefully so it shows in the, the clip you're going to talk about the show. Yeah, we, we've got a test really clip for the dog that we're going to so. share with you now, so let's enjoy that. Good. She said that someone else would feel my pain for me. But who could that someone be? You working late again? Yes. Uh... Well, try not to stay here too long, okay? I won't. You picked the art club. <gasps> I figured you might. Uh, wow, you really are good. Why are you here right now? You know I can't be friends with anybody. It's impossible. So please... You and me! <gasps> so Let's go to the so festival! The festival? I can't. But why not? Listen, I know you want to help. The only way this story concludes is with you getting hurt. You think that I care? Oh, no, it's a I just want to be with you. <laughs> just because I don't have fun with you. Just... Real pain. Won't be me. What are you saying? We'll be fine. Together. Let's head out. And go see a million worlds. Do not deceive you. That yeah. was uh, that was that's awesome. 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 the OP. And I see that you guys uh, have some good ears in the uh, in the chat. Black yes, uh, our lead Otto. That's uh, that's Zant the uh, Wind uh, playing playing the main character. And yeah, Black Rock. It's about uh, it's about young girls in love and intense intense action that Twitch was kind of no match for. There was some macro blocking happening in there. <laughs> um, one thing I will say too oh, yeah. is that yeah, um, yeah, our translator nice. Noel, if you like the retranslation of Simple Gear, she did the same. Uh, exact kind of job on the subtitles for this. So if you watched the streaming before or picked up one of the other, I believe there's like a, a, a subtitle only release in was it Australia or something like that? Yeah. Um, the translation is way 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 better uh, this time around, and the dub was based off of this new translation too. So uh, good all around. And that that is a great cast. I see uh, Susie uh, Susie Young and Danny Chambers are uh, our classic uh, Kanban and uh, Serval pair. As uh, Yomi and Yu, Kaylee Mills as Kagari, Anaitis Quinones as uh, as Arata, and Natalie Van Sistine as Saya. Great cast. Oh, yeah. That's pretty right. exciting. So, to move it on, uh, boy, the screen is almost full. I think we're getting pretty close to done. So we'll move into the final phase of our uh, of our panel, and uh, this is go. just to go over the stuff that has November, been coming out uh, lately. So, uh, of course, we start with last month's releases, uh, the month of November, which we at the Discotech offices refer to as uh, Super Beast Machine Cog uh, God uh, Danku Vember. Uh, Hanasaki <laughs> <say> Shonen <laughs> TV series Big Order, uh, which uh, that, that got some good uh, notices on Anime News Network this week. I, uh, I didn't fail to uh, to see that. So yeah, that, that the hard work on that weird OVA paid off. That's that's the real Big Order, that OVA. Yeah. 
the random OVA that rebuilds itself every time you play it. Uh, Lupin the Third, Secret of Twilight Gemini, and of course my favorite of the card, uh, Osamu Tezuka's 1001 Nights with a dubbed version that was previously thought lost. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That stuff came out last month. Uh, this is this month's releases. Of course, Thermai Romai, which we talked about. Uh, the month of the chilly month of uh, December, uh, which we uh, we around the discotheque offices yeah, refer to as uh, Lupin month. the Third, Tokyo Crisember. Um, <laughs> Battle Athletes also came out this month. Uh, case closed, a Crimson Love Letter. Case closed. Got to got to be excited for that. And uh, Devil Man Lady, the TV series. I'm surprised uh, there's nothing and, on uh, Before we go to so January, this is something you guys threw at me. Since we have 1,200 1, 1, people in the room. Let's just watch this trailer for a classic film one more time ahead of its release next month. Yeah. Yeah, it's available to watch on YouTube from Anime on TMS official YouTube channel. Peaceful, isn't it? Devil stole something precious and priceless. Oh, it's just an old ring I found. Maybe it's worth something. Ah, uh, hidden treasure what about for the ancient ancestors. <laughs> I think the natural born lady killer. Watch your step. Uh, I'm afraid. Whoa, brave girl. Take your best shot. Let's do some damage. The night you face a sword that is like no other. The time is at hand for light and shadow to unite. I regret that we have to dispose of you. Uh, this dream guy can just... Okay, it looks like the trailer quit on me. That's a long <laughs> well, one. Well, well, we had to have at least one technical guy, uh, glitch on. Uh -oh. <laughs> but we, so, saw the, uh, we saw the, uh, the colors pop in there. The black heaven, no, there wasn't much to the trailer anyway, just the logo. Genocide just the, the impressive 3D the rendered logo. Yeah. Ultra yeah. Ultra <laughs> what I can tell you guys is that I was typing a private message in Discord, and it uh, looks like XSplit thought it was a keyboard shortcut. So that's something that's going to trip me up a thousand times. But in the month of January, which uh, we, we at uh, Discotech refer to as uh, Geno Cybruary, um, We've got, uh, we've got Black Heaven, uh, the story of a salaryman saving the world with rock and roll coming out. Of course, the UHD of Lupin the Third. We've got the first bit of Hajime no Ippo coming out on Blu-ray. I know this is a favorite with a lot of the big fans. Uh, Gino yeah. Cyber itself, the uh, Koichi Ohada yeah. classic. Yeah, who's who's responsible that. for Kiss X Sis? Who did that, guys? I want names. Nobody's going <laughs> to claim that. <laughs> that's something, I mean, I had nothing to do with it. But that's something that the boss... You know who likes to stay out of these proceedings. He saw it on a list and was like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" There's it's uh, a it's a thing. It's uh, you, you can't burn sage on a video <laughs> server, but I tried. Like, I tried. <laughs> yeah, never. Yeah. But hey, no, you can no, you can uh, you can you can wash away the pallor with Simpo Gear G, which uh, Simpo Gear is tacky and wonderful and brilliant and brightly colored, and I love it. And I want everyone in the chat to tell me your favorite simple girl. Yeah. Mine you is don't know Chris, what Chris this is. And also Hibiki yeah. and yeah. Uh, Kiriko. It's the weirdest they are anime all, you will ever see. They are all uh, first among evils. Watch Simple Gear like a G in January, guys. Absolutely. Definitely watch it like a G. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see the channel exploding. That's good stuff. And yeah, in yeah, February yeah. next oh, month, yeah, these were yeah. just uh, recently two, announced. Uh, Konosuba 2, the second season of our favorite bunch. isekai, Trash Bones, Lords and Ladies. Uh, this is, this Bones, is like Slayers for the Age. Uh, good stuff. The Lupin the Third, the Columbus Files TV movie, Banania, and the Curious Bunch with its all-new dub. Uh, Miss Machiko, which yeah, I, I have to say that I planted the seed there because the boss was like, uh, so what is this? And it was like, it's a really weird thing about child sexual harassment from the 80s and the boss being the boss was like that sounds weird let's do it <laughs> but yeah that's well, well, well also i assume the price was right because uh, like, oh, i yeah, don't think yeah. people were knocking I, the door down i don't think i don't think they were paying uh 
you know, thirty, forty, a hundred thousand dollars an episode for Miss Machika. I think it was cheaper. Uh, just I think I think literally we advised him against it, and it was so cheap. And he did it anyway. Yeah. He did it anyway. It was so cheap. Yeah, yeah, we can confess to that. Brave Ten is getting a re-release. That's a rescue that was previously NIS America, and of course, the uh, the month that we at the discotheque office refer to as Acro February is closed out by Acro Bunch. Acro Bunch. So that's uh, that's what we got uh, in store then, and uh, just uh, there are a few things that haven't been scheduled yet uh, that we wanted to give you an update on because these are being worked on. Okay. Uh, the Ursa Yatsura movies are still they're, they're coming later in 2021, uh, right, Brady? We got to get those right. Correct. Yeah, uh, the fir the first one especially is a little more complicated than the rest because there's different cuts and everything. But um, I have a lot of the production done for the first one because it needed a lot of lead time because of that, and it's looking good. I can't we can't really announce details on what it's going to look like or anything like that. But I think people who were disappointed with the Japanese Blu-ray will probably be happy with our Blu-ray. Hmm. Excellent. And of course, we previously announced Scride. That's another one that's like, it's coming together a little slower than we thought it was, <laughs> but that is still on the docket. And uh, that's that's what we've been working on. So now, uh, comes talk time. to the audience. Oh, God, this is always death. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's a little better with, with streaming. I think it's much yeah. better with streaming. Uh, at, at a live convention environment, it can be excruciating. And also, we usually pack so much information into these panels that we just can't do it. But, uh, but, but get, you know, float us some questions and comments, guys. We know it's flying by a million miles a minute. We'll, we'll answer what we can. Just some ground rules to keep in mind. Uh, we know that you're just going to be, going to be vomiting your favorite uh, requests at us. We can't really speak to those. We can't talk about other publisher stuff or about other work we do outside of discotech. And uh, we're trying to keep it light. So... Let's see. The, the one thing I will say about license suggestions is, is your suggestions have probably already been our suggestions. So. <laughs> yeah, that we like that is how most fans communicate with us is just hurling license suggestions at us. Yeah. So we're like we've developed a shield to it at this point. Um, we I do see one person has been blowing up the chat about Moncal Knights, so I do owe you an update on that. Um, Moncal Knights, we we still have had no luck finding the English dub. Uh, oh. However, uh, we are working in earnest on the subtitled version, and we will have more news on that real soon now. Mm -hmm. we, nice. we haven't given up the search yet, but that's, uh, that's been a tantalizing treasure to, to, to get after. And uh, it's, it's a little unfortunate because that's a favorite of mine. I think that dub is hilarious. Uh, the, uh, the, the subtitled yeah. version is going to have some really cool extras, I will say that. Oh, that's exciting. Nice. Yeah, there's some, they made a oh, lot nice. of DVD extras for, for that show, and we have them all. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, they gave us a lot of artwork for that, too. Are you doing a gallery for that one or no? Uh, I hadn't gotten there yet, but I guess I will. Yeah, so, and someone asked as a follow-up to the Moncolia Knights question, well, you just need bootlegs, right? No, that's, that's the problem with that. They did, yeah. a lot of, they did a lot of things with the English version. They, uh, they reused a lot of stock footage, more so than the original episodes. They sped footage up for laughs and for briskness, and they did a lot of what we refer to as micro-edits. Where they, you know, they just pull maybe a second out here or there just to make room for one more 15 second TV commercial, you know, well, that, that kind of stuff. It's it's not only that too. Um, I mean, like the, other than smashing two episodes into one episode, and there's less. Oh episodes. yeah, yeah. There are a couple of Franken episodes too. Yeah. The, the the big problem with those Fox Kids dubs is that Fox Kids had a system that would actually take the video and it would go through it and it would automatically delete frames from like every scene where it thought the system didn't think it needed that frame so it's like one of those ones where it would be in an impossible amount of work to completely resync it and then also then on top of that redo all of the major amount of video effects because that show has a lot yeah of video the show had a lot of video effects printed on it new, new titles yeah. and stuff and transitions yeah, I mean, like, they, they redubbed the show to be a card game show, and it wasn't a card game show, so there's a lot of... It's not one that's, that it would be easy to recreate, if at all, like, possible. Mm -hmm. um, I also see some questions about Golden Boy on Blu-ray. Believe me, if there was a way, we would figure out a way. But those masters... I mentioned before how Astro Res doesn't work if uh, we have... Uh, frame blending, and unfortunately, Golden Boy is full of frame blending, and that's just like water for chocolate. You cannot fix that in any way or upscale it in any meaningful way. So, mm -hmm. unless Japan does a new transfer of it, we we're kind of kind of hosed on that one. Yeah, some someone asked about uh, how we determine viability for dubs. 
And usually what we try to dub are feature films or shorter, you know, shorter subject things with relatively small casts. Yeah. Uh, the one moonshot, the one big exception was Kimono Friends because we just kind of couldn't resist. But like, we, you know, there's been interest in longer stuff. We, we actually got bids from two, sep you know, interest from two separate dubbing studios to do uh, Reborn. Uh, but that that's like a hundred episode series. That's, that's right. just too great of a commitment to, uh, to to take a flyer on that. So typically, when we license something yeah, yeah. and it's like a movie or right. it's a short TV You're series, or, you know, it's it's not technically yes. challenged. It doesn't require a lot of lip sync or or a lot of different uh, line reads. Then uh, that's something that that's those are the kind of titles that we look at. But like yeah. long, longer TV series, as much as we'd love to, like. You guys are constantly asking us to dub more like Lupin the Third TV, like finish dubbing TV too. That's too tall a mountain for us. Yeah, that would yeah, be unless, unless, so much money. Yeah, so yeah, much money. I mean, in, unless, you know, we can get the licensor to help pay for it or something like that. Uh, something like, you know, Lupin TV is probably not going to happen. Um, That's right. But uh, shorter is better. Uh, usually short, usually movies, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so someone was asking uh, Maybe how Kodocho was from the license to jail. And I'm curious, Justin, do you have any insight? Like, how did how did we get uh, the Johnny's song, like the 7 o'clock news back by Tokyo? Like, do you know anything about that? Or just like, it was? it's clear now. It's I, not a problem I anymore. I, I have to go answer the door. I'll be right back. And I'll yeah. come back and answer that. Okay. Then let's let's look for what, a... It, what, what I know of that specific thing is that... Uh, Originally, we didn't have it, and then Japan cleared it. Mm -hmm. That's what we. I think that's the the what we know. And I and I, I'm assuming it must be pro because of they just did the Japanese Blu-ray, maybe mm -hmm. um, that they had to clear it anyway. Yeah. But originally, when we were talking about it, we were originally told we couldn't use the music, and then they said it was cleared. So yeah. that's how it goes. It wasn't All some right. sort of battle on our part or anything. Yeah, like that. All Japan. Yeah. Yeah, Golden yeah, Boy won't be coming to Blu-ray uh, anytime soon due to play. video issues. It was really, and that's what it took. Right. Well, yeah, because uh, wow. he, like, he put so much value on his stars mm -hmm. that he, you know, wanted them treated like, you know, Michael Jackson. And <laughs> Johnny's yeah, jail. The licensing fees followed suit. So mm -hmm. now, now that there has been a management change, you know, things can happen again, and uh, you know that, you know, rest in peace, Johnny Kitagawa. But. Uh, now we can have Jukuji no news. Yeah. And that's that's pretty great. There was someone asking about uh, stuff coming back into stock on Amazon Canada and being available in Canada. That's an excellent question, and that's one for the boss. So I, I, I feel like I harass him about that at least once or twice a year. I'm sorry, man. Canada Fans up in Canada get a raw deal. You guys love anime so much, and you, you don't get it as much of it as we do down in the States, and that's not oh, fair. So uh, I'll, bring, I'll bring that one to the boss. That's something I know we definitely want to do. Oh, yeah, someone asking about case closed. We do have more, but we, like, it's far down the road. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I will, you know, uh, in our closing statement, we will point out more case closed is coming, but it's far, it's it's a little too far down in the calendar to talk about. But be excited, because it's coming. Yeah. Uh, all the questions we're getting about Astro Res, uh, we got nothing. We know nothing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. It is magic. going so fast. Someone wants us to do Discotech Expo. Want to do a convention, Please. Justin? <laughs> um, no. No, I, I did one before. I, I worked Big Apple. Oh, I, 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 I was a founding... I was a founding staffer of Anime Central, which is now one of the, you know, the big 25,000 ah, fan juggernauts that uh, yeah, paid my dues, man. That was It'd be good. fun to, to go to a show like that. So, so I'm before, to okay. <laughs> People are asking about... Um, more Lupin, like more yeah. TV series on Blu-ray and everything. I just, I want to say that I've literally worked on a Lupin Blu-ray every single month of this year and it's finally slowing down a little bit. There's no way I could possibly do more, but we are still doing more Lupin. So mm -hmm. I, I just want to say that like what you want uh, of Lupin on Blu-ray is probably coming. Yeah, you I just have to wait. I'm not a machine. I have to sleep. So, uh, and we try and do our best with these, so... Yeah. Dirty <laughs> like, lies, Brady. You do not need to sleep, and I've witnessed this. <laughs> uh, for a person, for I'm, I'm pretty functional for a person who doesn't sleep a lot. <laughs> I, I see someone who's asked a few times now to make sure we see it. What about uh, more Simpho yeah. gear? And the answer to that is buy the Simpho gear we are releasing now, and we'll see. 
That's all I can I'm tell gonna, you. Everybody. I'm also going to say that we, we, we are never, most likely never, ever going to redub all 75 episodes of Sonic X. Please stop asking that. Um, that's, that's like that's a billion, a, that's, million dollars. That's a wonderful no dream. That's a wonderful dream, yeah. but that's we won the lottery money. If we won the lottery, then yes, of course we would do something like that. That's just crazy enough to work. But with what we have to work with now as a business, it can't happen, guys. Sorry. There's, there's no way it would be profitable. There's no way, um, yeah. unfortunately. Someone was asking about um, timeline for Project ACO. We're, we're not entirely sure yet. We're hoping fall. Mm. Um, it's a lot of work. I mean, it's, 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 it's even beyond the upscale stuff. And I mean, like, literally, like I said, I took like 30 hours last week just de interlacing the movies. Oh, There's a billion really extras good. just from the old releases that we have to compile, clean up, subtitle. Like, we really want to do it right. And it's, it's a, big Tetris game to trying to get it Talk all together to and yeah, we don't from, rush it. The version that we ripped off of Laserdisc with the Doomsday oh, Duplicator, that is being so frame well, by frame. I like the second series is... That's true, yeah. And, awesome. and color corrected too. And everything, right? by so, yeah, there's, uh, he's fixing uh, original photography mistakes, he's refixing uh, frame dirt, he's fixing the like weird little judder that is from the fr film frame not being properly aligned. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. I saw someone asking about Battle Athletes, uh, wants to know if, if our release has the full episodes and the proper ending. Uh, yeah, I believe that's true. I know that the episodes, uh, they, they, are recon they, they don't have the middle hacked out, uh, like the ending credits and the uh, previews hacked out like the Genion release did. That stuff's all back. Someone's asking about a re-release on SDBD of, um, of uh, Mad Bull 34. Sorry, we, we don't have the rights to Mad Bull anymore. All right. Well, that's interesting. Maybe someone else will swoop in and get it. Criterion, are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Mad Bull 34. Um, let's see. VHS Doomsday Duplicator. Honestly, for the tests I've seen from the VHS Doomsday Duplicator don't look very good. Uh, they actually look worse. It must be one of those Shochoku licenses. I mean, VHS probably. is such an inherently noisy format. So much more yeah, than laser disc. You can't get blood from a stone. So much, so point. much chroma yeah. smearing and noise. Even the uh, Domesday duplicator stuff from the laser disc is not as good as a regular master. It's just not. Yeah, so. I, I mean, our echo is how many laser discs? Like six laser discs, like averaged over each other to get the cleanest possible result. Yeah, and it, and it's still blurrier, and the colors aren't yeah. as good as as a regular master. So. Eh, yeah. Do what we can here. Yeah. I mean, that's why we're also trying to hopefully include the widescreen version, which has, a, you know, comes from a little higher quality of a source. So, have we found any recordings from Betamax? Funny you should ask. We've done two. Um, cool. Yeah, but <laughs> what? Nutcracker Fantasy. Nutcracker Fantasy. They, they, they and say one they one will three. get oh, to yeah, that eventually. That we can't talk about yet. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Possible? Uh, no, it so isn't. Yeah. No. I see you guys spending points to highlight your messages, and I'm trying to pick those out, but it's going by so fast. I, a lot of them I just can't answer. Uh, yeah, and a lot of them are yeah, they're, they're, they're relating to things that we didn't release. You, or like that, that. you, know, you, you can you ask like us to license that. stuff, guys, and we're excited to see that, but we can't comment on things that we haven't already mentioned. Yeah, you mean That's the reality. We are not, we, we, we are not the dubbing uh, The Return of Pike Out. Like? Yeah. Um, we do plan to dub at least one more Lupin thing, but uh, again, it's not announced yet. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. We've, we've been talking about that. there is more, more of that coming, but uh, too early. Um, let's see. Let me find what you asked me about. They should know. Things that we actually have, but I can't yeah, talk I about. I shouldn't say. No, uh, that's, no, no, that's not um, it. That is not it. So. Jeff, I did not say Sonic X wouldn't have an uncut version. I said we won't redub Sonic X. Anything else you can't speak on? Yeah. Uh, someone's Sometimes asking about kickstarting you. dubs, and uh, so, Kickstarter is so space. much additional work, and we are going on all cylinders right now. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know if you follow Brady and myself on on Twitter or, or any of the other Discord tech guys, but oh, man, we are not fancy. <laughs> You're doing so what? Eight, eight discs a month. Yeah, we just kicked it up from six to seven. We're, we're very lucky to be busy, busy, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm not complaining. This is a dream job, but oh my god, I I can't. I just can't. 
this I mean for me this isn't even my day job so it's like even harder <laughs> And I, I've seen inquiries about people asking about working for Discotech, and uh, all I can say is that I think everyone's story, including all of us, you, no one applied to Discotech. Uh, the, like the company kind of found the people it needed, and I know that's that's a frustrating answer, but that's kind of how it shook out. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I literally just found a new guy on Twitter, and he's awesome, and I can't wait him wait to get him uh, going. I think we've recruited that. several people from Twitter, yeah. so you know, talk ta ta to. Talk, talk, talk to the, the, the Discotech Twitter account, talk to the producers, uh, you know, the, the men in here doing the heavy lifting with me. Uh, they're the MVPs, and uh, if there's work to pass out, they might know something about it, maybe. The, the thing is, is if you have the skill we need, then we'll talk to you. That's the big thing. You have to have, like, if there's a skill we need to find and you have it, then we'll talk to you. That's how it usually goes. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked me about live action stuff. Uh, with the occasional exception of Tokusatsu, live action just does not sell like anime does. It just doesn't. And yeah. To my, I, I really, there, I have a bunch of stuff that I wish we could release, but it's, an, anime is the priority and we have so much of it to get through. That's why we're cranking to eat this a month is because we license so much yeah, of stuff. It's an experiment that I mean, there's literally yeah, something that we got cleared for around. last week. And I wish we could work on it next year. But literally, we had to put it in, like, 2022, immediately. Like, there's no way it's coming out next year. Someone was asking about which of the, those recent uh, Detective Conan uh, case-closed movies was dubbed first. Don't quote me on this. This is <laughs> something we did with TMS, but I believe chronologically the first one uh, to get dubbed was Zero the Enforcer. But uh, th those are some great movies. You should check them out. Hopefully, uh, when everything comes back, we can get a couple of those movies into theaters. Uh, All right. That's something I, we know our partner wants to do. We don't do theatrical, but I want to go to the movies and see Detective Conan. That's what I'm saying. Uh, those movies make a hundred million dollars every spring, and like the West never even gets Conan to see them. To Hopefully, we can start changing that. Yeah, when else, yeah, back. Yeah, asked if Metabots uh, in Japanese is still coming. Uh, eventually, it's. Uh, we, we got to get through a whole lot of other stuff first, but we, mm -hmm. we do want to release that in Japanese, yes. Plus, also, it has to be subtitled, too. Like, there's no right. subtitles for that to work from. Yeah, it has to be subtitled from scratch, and that's a long show, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone, uh, someone was asking, wait, which partner for Case Closed? That's Tokyo Movie Shinsha, TMS. Case Closed is their thing. We're, we're handling it on home video for them. Oh, here's a really good question, actually. How does the... English audio on Grimm's Fairy Tales sound because it did come from bootlegs. And I'll be honest, mm. it's kind of all over the place. Most of them sound really good. A handful are a little questionable, and we did what we could. Um, you know, the, whenever we work with bootleg, uh, especially bootleg audio, we're really kind of hamstrung by whatever we can yank out of those old VHS copies. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's tough stuff. Um, Doing what we can. Formation dubbed episodes. All right. Uh, someone was asking what what does uh, what needs to happen with a new release before we can start talking about it. I think that it's just a matter of it has to get reasonably close on the calendar, where you know the contracts have been signed and we're not going to make people wait for eighteen months for it to come <laughs> because out. Because we're because we hate being bugged incessantly. <laughs> incessantly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you notice, almost everything that we re we announced um, in previous panels we either talked about today or already has a street date um and there are a couple exceptions that we very pointedly did not talk about today and there's probably a reason for that so mm -hmm. uh, okay we've, we've been going for about 15 minutes fellas how much longer do you want to go i gotta have dinner at some point <laughs> well um i don't know i think we have one other thing left in the queue right huh. yeah we Here wanted we to hold you here for one more announcement. Here and, we go. Uh, people have been mm -hmm. asking about this incessantly, so we, we better get to it. Yeah. So thank you for all the questions. We'll uh, we'll, we'll try to get to more. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, we'll, we'll probably do at least one more of these at some point. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. I try to go to the next slide, and I nudge the entire scene over because I'm in the wrong program. So that was a lot of fun talking to you guys. We're going to do one more announcement, and this is something we teased at the beginning. Let's look at Orion. it. Orion.
yeah, the, uh, we wish we could have shown you a longer trailer, but all the other trailers are, are in uh, standard. Oh, range, so. they wanted to dub <laughs> this. We wanted to show you just how beautiful this is going to look. And uh, this, we're a little early going on this in terms of what's going to be included for extras and whatnot, but this is such a gorgeous film, and we're excited to be releasing it. I can't believe no one's brought this out before. Yeah, and uh, and some people are noticing too that I put in there that we wanted to dub this. I wanted to dub this. I wanted to, to, to see if I could take a crack at producing one myself since uh, Brady and Justin have been doing that for a while. But we could not find the music and effects tracks. Uh, and they, someone's they, asking, they what might are, not exist. What are the M&E tracks? The M&E tracks, those are an isolated soundtrack that only have the music and sound effects. So you can dub your own dialogue over them and then have a complete mix. And yes, for a lot of older animated movies like this, that they don't, you know, those tapes were lost. You know, they made their own dub. They, maybe they made a couple of international dubs around when the movie was released, and then they were discarded, or they, you know, they were just lost. They can we, be they can be reconstructed, but it's very difficult and expensive. Yeah, we really, really asked to like we really tried to get the Emmys. Yeah, we we went after we, we were after them for something like a year before finally it was just like okay, I don't think they have it. We and we need you know we signed on the dotted line for this. We need to get this to the fans. But, fun uh, fact, fun fact, for Lupin the Third, the Treasure of Gold Babylon, they lost the Emonese, and we're only re only way we were able to dub it is we found it was on an old release as an extra. We were lucky, but they lost the original tapes for it, so. Oh, that is super lucky. I never knew that. Yep. <laughs> All right, so that, uh, that kind of brings us to a close. Yeah, sorry guys, I think we did 14 or 15 new announcements, only 13 <laughs> this time. So sad. <laughs> but this is the full list uh, it's going to be going up on all the news outlets uh, for you to well, watch Crunchyroll fine. News and then you like uh, you'll see it on our social too. media all and the videos are on our Twitter part account three yep. Yep. And yep. Rock you see all the cool icons for each one I put so much thought into that and uh, our closing announcements uh, man we've been releasing a lot of anime uh, five or six titles a month uh, on home video and I'm, that's not going to be uh, abating anytime soon we got so much no. in the pipeline for you guys and uh, you can watch some of our stuff online for free. Uh, those are our preferred outlets there. Uh, we, we like partnering with Right Stuff, but there are many outlets that, uh, that carry our stuff on home video. Uh, be sure to follow us on social media. And, uh, you know, in regards to the horrible pandemic that has kept us trapped in our houses uh, all year, it seems like there might finally be some good news. So I'm really hoping we can see you guys next year. We miss you so much. We miss going to the shows, and we miss doing our panel at Oticon every year, and we just miss talking to you guys. So, any final thoughts uh, from Justin and Brady? I want to sleep, please. <laughs> <laughs> I do too, but only after dinner. How about you, Brady? Uh, wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. <laughs> very good. Well, that's going to wrap it up, Scott. I wrap it up for our panel, guys. So, thank you all very much for coming. Now, go away. And with that, uh, we're not going to play out any music or anything. I'm just going to take us off the air, so uh, don't wait for anything. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Hi. So, checklist one more time. Kodocha, Kenichi, Video Warrior Lazarian, Future of All Daltanius, City Hunter 2, Grimm's Fairy Tale Adventure, Not a lot of Heartful Days, Metabot Season 3. Fighting General Dinos, uh, Lupin the Third Part Three, Lupin the Third: The Revenge of the Cow, Black Rock Shirt, and Orion. Uh, uh, I'm kind of um, eh, in comparison to the last panel, but I'm cool with that. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> dang. So, no one tells me March could be, yeah, March 2021 solicitation could be a lot, a lot different than what I expect, so. Uh, and what we, ex how we got from this pal, so. Alright. Thanks for watching. Yeah. It was a long panel, but I feel just fine. Two hour panel. Lost out of time, so thank you and.